So today I'm trying a fun natural dye project using coffee, turmeric, spirulina, wild blueberries, and yellow onion skins. I've never tried this before, so there may be some trial and error, but here we go. I'm starting off with coffee, and I just put the grounds and some water in my teapot and then strain it out. So I need a mordant, which will allow the dye to adhere to the cotton. I'm using aluminum, and I just add in about a teaspoon or so uh, per dye bath. And I am just using 100% cotton. You want to make sure it's either 100% cotton or another natural fiber. The natural dyes will not adhere to synthetic fabric. I have pre-soaked my fabric, so it's all ready to go. I'm going to put it in. And you can leave it in as long as you'd like to get the color that you desire. Uh, I did all of these at different lengths, so you'll just have to kind of experiment and see what kind of shades you like. For the turmeric, I just, again, put the turmeric in some water, brought it to a boil, and then I just strained it out using my almond milk bag. frequently and just let the color deepen until it's the desired shade. Here's the onion skin dye bath. I just uh, soaked the onion skins um, in a pot, brought it to a boil, and then filtered it through into this pot. Here's the wild blueberry dye bath. So now I'm just going to transfer from the dye bath to a bowl filled with water and I will just continue rinsing these until the water runs clear. The spirulina turned out to be a huge fail and it did not produce any color. It just made these splotches on the shirts. So I ended up using this old green dye that I had to just kind of cover the blotches and salvage the, the shirts somewhat. So this is the wild blueberry, such a lovely shade. Uh, the turmeric, as you can see, the boys have already been wearing these and staining them, but that's what they're for, right? Here's the coffee and the yellow onion skin, which is my personal favorite. 